Good day everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to create Windows 11 recovery drive. Now many of us know, many people do not know that why recovery drive is so important. Now if you have created a recovery drive, then you can fix many problems like blue screen, black screen, Windows not loading up, Windows has been corrupted, or if you want to install Windows 11 again, then you can use this recovery drive. So it's a quick decision that you create Windows 11 recovery drive now and get prepared for the future in order to troubleshoot the problem instead of going to the technician and, and giving them your hard earned money. Now just keep in your mind that this drive will not be recovering your personal data and file. For that you will have to create Windows 11 full backup and I've already created a video on that. You can also create a full backup of your Windows 11. All right, now before moving, just keep in your mind that I always recommend that a pen drive or an external drive where you want to create a recovery drive, that drive should be of at least 32 gigabyte of a space. That should be the available space. Sometimes it asks you only 16 gigabyte of a space, but in most of the cases, it will ask you around 30 or 32 gigabyte of space. So let's quickly get started. First, what you will have to do, you need to click on your Windows search. Type here create and somewhere in the suggestion you will be getting create a recovery drive. Click on it, then click on yes and you will be getting this kind of page that says even if your PC can't start, you can use a recovery drive to reset it or troubleshoot problem. And below make sure this option has been checked that says backup system file to the recovery drive and then you have to click on next. Now here you have to wait for a few seconds or a prox for a minute. And then you will be getting this kind of page that says select the USB flash drive and you can clearly read here it says the drive must be able to hold at least 32 gigabyte and everything on the drive will be deleted. So this was the reason I was recommending you that you should have at least 32 gigabyte of space. Now in the available drive it says D so I can reconfirm it. So you can see it's D drive only so I will just keep this as selected then you need to click on next. And then you will be getting a final warning that says that everything on the drive will be deleted. If you have any personal file on this drive, make sure you have backed the file. Then you have to click on create. And now it will start creating the recovery drive. So you will have to wait here. It may take some time. So now finally the recovery drive is ready. And guys, keep in mind that this will take some time. It can take up to a few minutes, probably half an hour or sometime more than that. It all depends on how much data is there. So once it's been done, you have to click on finish and now your USB or pen drive is ready and you can see that it says recovery D. So now once you're ready with your recovery drive, you can quickly use it for any kind of troubleshooting. So for that, you will have to start your computer in the BIOS mode. So in order to start the computer in the BIOS mode, you have to shut it down. Once the computer is shut down, restart again and keep tapping on the BIOS key. And the BIOS key can be different on different computer. Like on my end, it's delete key, but on your end, it can be delete, escape, F12 or F2. You can find on Google or even I have created a video that how you can create a shortcut of BIOS on your desktop and where you can make a single click to reach to the BIOS. You can check that video if you want. The link will be in the description. Now, once you're in the BIOS, you have to look for the boot priority. So you can click on the boot option or in the ASUS, you can see on the right hand side, I can see the boot priority. And here you will find uh, your main drive that is on the top. Then below I have my recovery drive that I just created. That is my pen drive. I will select it. Then below you have to click on boot menu. And then here you will find the boot menu, boot order. So again here you have to select the one that you have created a recovery drive. So again it will be restarting. And this time the computer will be coming up in the advanced option where you can start your troubleshooting or you can go with the fresh installation, whatever you want to. So first you will be getting this kind of a screen. You have to choose your keyboard layout. So I will go with the United States, the first one. Now here you see all the options like recovery from a drive. Then you have the continue user device. So if you want to go and recover a, from a drive, then you can go with the first option that we just created. Then you have a user device option. Then we have troubleshoot and if I go in the troubleshoot, then you have the startup repair option. So once your recovery drive is connected, 
you can go and click on the startup repair that will be surely helping you uh, to just fix your computer then we have command prompt uninstall update uefi firmware settings system restore and system image recovery so all these options will be helpful for you for the troubleshooting now it's all up to you what kind of troubleshooting you want to do and what kind of work you have with the recovery try so hopefully guys you will find this video helpful to quickly create a windows 11 recovery drive in order to fix all kind of problem on windows 11 and if you found this helpful do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye